mean, the nights are really nice buildings. Like, I mean, the nights are really nice. I work for Teal Jones and I do engineering work. We do roads and cut block designs. There was Walter Van Hal, Tom Weston and myself. We were out, out in the field that day. I was in the lead, I was the head of the guys. I was hanging, falling in line and stuff. And they were following in behind doing some traversing and, and on my way down the hill, I found a big chunk of aluminum. And right away I knew it was aircraft aluminum. I'd been to a crash site before, so and being out in the middle of nowhere, that's just, there's no way it could get here. So I basically knew automatically there was a plane. Jeez, that's We've old. all been yeah. the Bulldog and seen the stuff there, what it looks like. Yeah, and this, old. This, this, is old. this has got to be old. We'll have to fan out a little bit here, maybe. Sure, yeah. Because there's got to be more. I guess we probably shouldn't really disturb anything until no. we'll, uh, and we'll see if we can find anything else. Yeah. We started finding bits of uh, aircraft debris kind of on a, on, a, on a trajectory through in, into the forest. So we followed that along. Uh, you know, as, as we found more and more pieces of debris, and of course they're getting bigger and bigger, we, we knew that, uh, that there was something significant in front of us. Some big pieces down here, guys. Oh, yeah, what got there? I don't know. I don't know if this is leather or rubber. No, oh, it's rubber. Huh. Some sort of membrane, maybe. I think so. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely. I think I got part. This is part of a wing right here, I'd say. What do you think, Walt? Oh, yeah, it looks like the aileron. Aileron? Yeah. Okay. There's all kinds of wires and pulleys here. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Part of the aileron. So I guess the wings probably broke off on one of these trees. Boy. Yeah. That big cedar up there snapped off, probably. And we worked our way up. We found the cockpit of the plane. One of the engines was there, still attached to it, and we found uh, numerous personal items. We found like shoes, pieces of jackets, uh, one of the old flight helmets there, leather flight helmets, we found one of them. And we were pretty sure that nobody had been here before. Everything was undisturbed. Most of the plane was buried in litter, but uh, most of the stuff you could still tell what it was. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
They flew together. They died together. And now they're at rest together in a tranquil Victoria Cemetery. A special gift is created. Anson L7056, as she appeared in October 1942, 71 years before being found by chance in a remote Canadian forest. New kinships form and connections are forged through a desire to remember those that gave their lives while preparing to serve. Bob Luckock's brother, David, learns that the memory of a dear friend lost seven decades ago is as fresh as ever. I told her that the site had been discovered and she sent this back, which I thought was very touching. In memory of Robert E. Luckock, brave, laughing Bob, never to be forgotten by his old friends from childhood onwards including Rosemary, now aged 94, which I thought was very lovely. <laughs>